Here she goes, my ray of sunshine, my paladin of Lathander, heading down into a dark chasm. What could possibly go wrong? But there is something calling to glory from down here, so she'll try to figure out what that is, and then head back up to the surface as quickly as tieflingly possible. Moment of new danger. I may have underestimated this Faerun. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. With a bit of luck, we'll meet a beholder. There is some decent loot off to the side there, but we're just trying to make a beeline for the important stuff here. And there should be a minotaur cresting the hill outside of the gate. There it is. laid out the unwelcome mat. <laughs> Will with the dad jokes. Ugh, fungal spores. And they're everywhere. Gods, what's happening? voice. They're coming. They're coming. We'll go with the paladin response. Fill your mind with the words of your oath. Drown out the voice. It said, they're coming. They're coming. I've rarely had to venture this far below the surface. Rare is the underbeast that takes to the sun. You know, I've noticed that a lot of Will's dialogue gets cut off midway, like he gets interrupted. It happened there with the voice, with Auntie Ethel, other times I can't think of right now, but I'm gonna start keeping track. A slender drow glade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. We'll use the Paladin religion check. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistre. Blood can only be honored with blood. Is Glory really gonna have to... Oh, okay, wait. There's a Paladin charisma response there. Let your embodied oath pour through you. Grip the sword. Prove your worth. Feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade, but with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. I love how creepy Glory's eyes look in the dark. It seems at odds with her personality to be so intimidating, but it's definitely a reminder of her true heritage. Here masks, known to cause confusion. Best not get too close. <laughs> it got Gale. The bullet. No rest for the wicked. Ah! Oh, wait, what? Where, is that Will? <laughs> and of course, he's stuck in the cloud, so he's not going to be able to get out until it's his turn. Let's help him out. Let's take care of this quickly. And then we came upon this abandoned village, where none of us pass a perception check. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! Glow will hold up her palms in peace. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. 
Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. I can be discreet. No need for bloodshed. Fine. I'll let you live. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. What are you doing here? Told you. Hunting. Slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Well, that changes things. You'll do no such thing, slave keeper. You die here. A bleeding heart, are you? Reckon I'll just roast and eat it. Let's see if we can take this one down a peg. Figuratively and literally. <clears throat> and now they're in perfect position to use the Blood of Lathander Sunbeam. Okay, let's jump to the end. No time to waste. Tormentor. Well, now Glory knows one way she can be of service in the Underdark. Stopping these Doigar. The infamous Underdark. Don't worry of the dangers you can see. Worry of the dangers you can't. It's a little late for the advice, but still appreciated. swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices the harmony of an entire collective sovereign she has come she is here the choir fades a single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. State your purpose. I am nature's bulwark. Where good things grow, I lend my protection. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar killed their children. They should pay the price for the cruelty. Well, um... Funny story. The Dwegar are slain. The rot's already been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. 
In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Mykonid dead. Mir, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. Always another evil to correct. Always another monster to slay. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. And now we have our next destination. We're getting stuff done. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Oh good, more darkness. Gex Raft. Where's Gek? Who are you? I'm afraid Gek is dead. He fell fighting the Mykonids. She's definitely not a good liar. <laughs> Damn! The sergeant will be pissed about her boots. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Sideways. We've got a welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul Nears prick! Drugno! The twat soul caused a rockfall, trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. You keep slaves here? Deep gnomes, mostly. Easy to feed. Fat thumbs for digging. That's a problem for you. To bind another in slavery is abhorrent. As are you. That right? And just what do... Ugh. You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be... You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'm not giving you a single coin. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers.
This true soul near stuck behind a rockfall, is he? Forgive me if I'm in no hurry to go digging him out. Glory really wants to dole out some justice here, but it would be too easy for an innocent to get caught in the crossfire, so she's gonna explore a bit first. Tired! Sleep! Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. There was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. Hell beast? You mean like me? Horns? No. Bigger. Angrier. I saw tusks and flesh. Smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men. Crashing and smashing. You honor me with your ancient wisdom. I outlived my mother, and her mother's mother, and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live, cursed to see many die. Hmm? Oh. Those two still talking. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no Lolf. No Spider Queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwergar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. Being bound to serve Mermith spits in the face of natural order. It limits you. My bite could be stronger. My venom more devastating. Xanta, is it so? This and so much more. In Lolt's hairy embrace, all is possible. Her embrace. We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers. Our new dawn awaits. Don't like strangers here. But Absolute must have took you in. Did you notice your spiders ran off? Hey? Oh, those worthless bugs. Always were the stupidest ones I ever raised. Hope the Minotaurs get them. Hmm. Okay, I think we're about ready to make our move, but we'll leave Gale back here just to block the exit. Hey, stick shit! It's Skick Pit, you piss pot. That's what I said! Stick shit! My Another uh, stick shit! <laughs> piss pot. You flirt. Now jump to it! Oh, it's up to the lift, and straight to the shadows. Damned slavers. Just the sight of them turns my stomach. True, soldier. Yeah. Tell the sergeant we won't move a pebble. Glory's not even gonna engage in conversation with these two. Hey! Stick shit! Where's my drink? Coming right up, piss pot. Stick shit? Talks like smug. And he wrecked that shroom village. And then shagged it. 
Here's to smack, <laughs> nasty prick. Ugh. Piss off. No need to be rude. I'm on your side. My side? I heard the piss pop. You're a true soul. Same as near. So like I said, piss off. Listen, I'm here to help. Play along. And who asked for help? Why don't you... Hold on. You're talking true, aren't you? Then shh. Keep it low. Don't let them hear you. Now why in the hottest hells would a true soul be helping me? No one should serve a master. You deserve to be free. Free? From your mouth, I hope. Go on then. Split them open. I'm not gonna stop you. But you better finish the job. Cause I'll be the one to suffer if you don't. <clears throat> Ain't you hearing me, prickhole? Piss off to every last hell! We'll wait until Skick Pit moves out of the way before we do anything. First, we're going to check out what's down here on the docks. You need me to wipe your ass while I'm at it. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> I've heard of many burial rites and last wishes in my time. Being tossed into fetid water is not one of them. This ain't no funeral. This is taking out the rubbish. They serve their purpose, and now they're fish food. That's about the best end you can expect, if you don't turn to the absolute. We'll do the perception check. You spot a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. I'll finish up here. You're wanted with the others. Thank the Absolute. They're all yours. Absolute. Deep gnomes. Killed under the yoke of slavers. Glory will bow her head in respect. Disposed of like rubbish. Like scraps. Are there no limits to people's cruelty? Alright, that's it. That's like beyond the last straw. It's time to take action. You still hanging around? I'll leave right after this. Oh, I'm drugs with Clan Flameshade! See how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> Hells. How sick must a soul be to take slaves, let alone lash them? Yeah, Glow's done talking, and time is of the essence. We have to free these gnomes that are trapped behind this cave in. And away I go. Blast the thing to bits! Worthless slaves! 
Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nia does not fail. Touch another innocent, and I'll take your head, Nier. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. And you waste your time persecuting them. That is true weakness. You dare speak to me without due reverence. That was your first and last mistake. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save her. Your god, my oath. Let us see which prevails. Dwegar, this true soul has betrayed us. Let her blood prove your devotion. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's go with some Divine Smite. One shot. This is gonna be over fast. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nia hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaedel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? It would seem not. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walbrun gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walbrun. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walbrun. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrun behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrun might have kept you around. Enough. Bickering won't save your friend. And neither will this twit, apparently. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then onto the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. I believe I'm destined for the towers as well. I'll look for your friends. Friend. Singular. I'm looking for Wolbrin. If anyone else should be incidentally helped, then bully for them. I'm sensing a bit of history here. It isn't personal. No one likes the Iron Hand Gnomes except the Iron Hand Gnomes. Hmm. Well, why don't you rest in my camp before your next big move? Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. This is no place to travel alone. Ha! I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Give me time to think. Hm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you.
And now our last stop. Sharp I ever. said before that something was calling to glory. No All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. And that voice is coming from right down here. The lava's erupting. Better watch my step. Breath. A lava elemental. It stirred up the lake something fierce. Bet I can crack that open. Thou hast come! <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. Can thou endure? She's definitely going to use that Cleric of Lathander ability to summon her light and devotion as she pushes back. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the wonder. Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings. I could barely hold my laughter. What did you do to me? The Sharons tormented me, and I laughed at the pain till now couldst I stop. Is there affliction more terrible than eternal joy? This is my pleasure! This is my curse! <laughs> Return you where? To whom? To my granddaughter, Shira Clarwin. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> you recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander. God of dawn and renewal. Yeah, she better recognize Whatever it. Whatever madness the spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. She's definitely going to take it to his granddaughter, but she's not going to wear it. It's cursed, so she's going to stow the amulet. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. And that is all we're going to do in the Underdark. It's time to head back up to the surface for some blessed sunshine, right before we head into the Shadow Curse. Ah, 